everyone. How are you doing today? All right, I want you to show me a thumbs up if you are doing great, you're happy, you're excited. I want you to show me a thumbs down if you're maybe sad or angry or upset or a sideways thumb if you're kind of in the middle or you're tired, just kind of like, eh, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of like, meh, like, so that would be sideways. All right, so you show me how you're doing with your thumbs on the count of three. One, two, three, how are you? All right, well, I am so glad you are all here. I am Pastor Aaron, and I would love to know who is watching with me today. So if you've been around, you know what to do. Shout out your name on the count of three. One, two, three. Awesome. I'm glad you're here. However you're feeling, it is great to be here. Well, we are on week two of our new series called Think About It. Have you done some thinking this week? I'm sure you are because every single day we have tons of thoughts that come to our mind. When you had a thought during the week since we were together last, did you think about how God can help you with your thoughts? We have lots of thoughts that pop into our heads every day. Some of them match what God says, but others cause us to believe lies. When we catch our thoughts and check them, God can help to change them and he can help us to think about what is true. And that's what we all need to know today. Think about what is true. All right, I think we should just get this show on the road. If you are ready, it is time to see what's happening in the creation station. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, my name is Clay. Will you create with me today? Come join the creation station and think. Hello there, friends. My name is Clay and I want to welcome you to the creation station. We call this the creation station because God is a creative God. So that means we are creative too because he made us to be like him. Oh, I forgot to introduce you to my friends, Buttons and Dot. Heidi ho my name is Buttons and this is my friend Dot. We are so excited to have you join us. Yeah, we are. And I was thinking, would you like to be makers with us today? Yes. Yes. Dot, that's a great idea. I love the way you think. Uh, before we start this craftastic day, everyone stand up and let's sing a song together. Oh, what, what fun. fun. Get up, turn around, jump around, everybody singing in the name. 
speakers. You sounded amazing. You can take a seat. When we craft and create together here, there are two rules we follow. Can you tell our new makers the rules of Creation Station? Of course we can, Clay. Boys and girls, let me see you wave one hand and say, be kind. Be kind. We can be kind by staying quiet so we can hear each other and not miss any instructions for our special projects. That's right. Now, let me see you wave two hands and say, be safe. Be safe. We can be safe by keeping our hands and craft tools to ourselves and staying in our seats so we don't mess up anyone's creation. That's it. Easy peasy. Oh, did you hear that? Buttons and dot? Colorful crayons. I sure did. Makers, that sound means we have another maker friend who wants to show us the creation they've been working on. That's right. Let's check it out and see what's crafting. Hey, Clay. Hey, Buns and Dot. My name is Wesley. Today I'm painting a birdhouse. I have all kinds of paints and brushes. Time to craft. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to spill that paint. When my grandma finds out, she's going to be so mad. I think I should tell her that my cat, Whiskers, came in here and knocked it over. Then she won't be mad at me. Oh, no! I love the way Wesley was painting her birdhouse, and we know spilling the paint was just an accident. So she doesn't need to tell a lie to her grandma. Instead, we need to help her with what she's thinking. You're right, Dot. Friends, to help Wesley, we need to put on our thinking caps. To finish making our thinking caps, what do we need? Googly eyes or stickers? Stickers! That's right! Everyone, pat your head and help us put on the final stickers on our thinking cap. We did it! Now, everyone reach up to grab your thinking cap and put it on. What, what am, am I thinking? thinking? What, what am, am I thinking? thinking? Catch it, check, check it, change it right now. Catch it, check it, change it. You can catch any thought you have and you can check it with what God says is right and true. If you're not sure, just ask him. Then, if your thought doesn't match what God says, let him help you change it. Catch it, check it, change it. That's it. Wesley needs to catch her thought. We do that by asking, what am I thinking? Makers, was Wesley thinking that her grandma was going to be mad about the paint she spilled? If you think so, nod your head like this. That's exactly what Wesley was thinking. And was Wesley thinking that it would be better to lie about what happened? If you think so, nod your head like this again. Now, we need to help her check that thought with what God says. I think we do that by reading God's word, right Clay? Right, Rooney. Do you boys and girls know what God's word is? The Bible. That's right. Makers, let's get ready to hear a story from the Bible by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. click. Now, let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. You look ready now. Check this out. This is Saul. Saul did not think that Jesus was really God's son. He was thinking very mean thoughts about people who loved Jesus. Saul and his friends were even on their way to find people who loved Jesus and put them in jail. That's when a bright light shined on Saul from the sky. It was so bright that Saul couldn't see anything. But he did hear a voice. 
It was Jesus. Jesus asked Saul what he was thinking and said, Saul, why are you hurting me? Saul's wrong thoughts were hurting Jesus and the people who loved him. At that moment, everything Saul thought about Jesus changed. Saul stopped thinking wrong thoughts about Jesus and started loving him. Soon, he even started going by a different name, Paul. Paul started telling others that God wants to help us change the way we think. Friends, when we have a thought that's wrong, God can help us catch it, check it, and change it to something that is true, right, and good. With God's help, we can think about what is true. Say this after me. Think about. Think about. What is true. What is true. That's it. Makers, God can help us think about what is true. Let's tell Wesley how to check her thought with what God says is true. How do we know what God says? Well, we can pray and ask him. And remember, we can look in the Bible. But the Bible is a big book. How do we know where to find something that will help? That's a great question, Dot. You can ask a grown-up to help. Good idea. Clay, you're a grown-up, so can you help? Uh, you know it. Uh, here's something in God's Word that will change Wesley's mind about lying. It says, don't lie to each other. Wesley, did you hear that? I sure did. God doesn't want me to lie, and he doesn't want me to believe a lie either. I don't know for sure that my grandma will be mad at me for spilling the paint, so it's not true to say that she will be. Instead, I need to think and say what's true. But what happens if I don't want to tell the truth again? Well, you can remember that verse from God's Word, and you can ask God to help you think about and say what's true. Oh yeah, I can do that. You guys close your eyes and pray with me. Hey God, please help me think about what's true and not tell lies. I love you, amen. Amen. Thank you, Clay, Button and Dot. I'm gonna tell my grandma the truth right now. Bye. Bye. Looky there, Wesley can think about what is true and so can you. I wanna hear you say this after me. Think about. Think about. What is true. What is true. Makers, you did it! You helped Wesley know how she can catch it, check it, and change it. Are you two thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking about a purple elephant. Is that what you're thinking? No, but that does sound really funny. I think we need to celebrate with a song. Me too. Makers, stand up and let's sing.
great job, makers. That was so fun. But the fun is not done. I think it's time for us to play a fun game. Colorful crayons. Let's play. OK, makers. Clap your hands when you see the balloon animal Clay tells you to look for. That's right, Buttons. Makers, if you're ready to play, let me hear you say, Balloons! Balloons! Okay, clap your hands when you see a butterfly balloon. Good job! Now, clap your hands when you see a puppy balloon. You found it! Oh, this balloon has a question for us. It asks, who did Saul talk to on the road, a puppy or Jesus? Jesus! Right, Aruni. Saul did not think that Jesus was God's son, but Jesus helped him stop thinking wrong thoughts and start thinking what is true. Let's play again. Clap your hands when you see an elephant balloon. That's it! Now, clap your hands when you see an octopus balloon. Good job! Now, one more. Clap your hands when you see a flower balloon. Craftastic! This flower balloon has a question too. It asks, what can we use to know what's right and true? Flowers or the Bible? The Bible! You got it, makers! Flowers are amazing, but they don't tell us what's right and true. God tells us what's right and true when we read the Bible and talk to Him. Let me hear you say this after me. Think about... Think about... What is true? What is true? Good job, everybody. Whenever a thought pops into your mind, remember that God can help you. And so can our song. Makers, sing along with us. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Catch it, check it, change it right now. That was perfect. Makers, as you go through your week, remember that God wants to help you change the way you think. And we will see you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Remember last week when we said what a heart reminds us of? What does a heart remind you of? Love? It reminds me of love too. And do you know that God loves you? And God always wants you to think about what is true. I want you to repeat after me. Think about what is true? So good. Well, when we have wrong thinking, we can ask God for help. God can change the way we think and he wants to help us. There is a verse in God's word, the Bible, that we can learn together. How about we do that now? Repeat after me in a whisper. Are ready? Repeat after me. Let God change the way you think. Romans 12, 2. Good job. Now, if you want a little bit of more of a challenge, the elementary kids are learning a little bit of a more in that verse. So you can check out the elementary school video to see the full thing if you wanna learn more along with them. If you want a little bit more of a challenge and learning the memory verse. All right, before I go, let's pray together. One hand up, the other hand up together. Dear God, I know you love me. That's true. I always want to think about what is true. Please help me. I love you. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. 
All right, well, that is all the time we have today. But until next time, I want you to be kind and make good choices. And remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Bye.